Hello, welcome back to our channel AC Learning with Divya. Students, in today's video, let us learn about polygons. What is polygon? A polygon is a closed two dimensional shape with straight sides. It can have three or more sides. Look at this figure. Is it a polygon? No, it has a curved side. It's not a polygon. Look at this figure. Even though this is a closed figure, it is not polygon because it does not have straight sides. Look at this figure. Is it a polygon? Yes, it has straight sides. Also, it is a closed figure. So, this is a polygon. So, polygon is a closed figure made up of line segment and not curves. Yes, and it is Two dimensional figure. Poly means many and gon means sides. So the shapes which will be having many sides are called as polygons. It can be triangle, it can be square, it can be rectangle, it can be pentagon, it can be octagon, it can be hexagon. It can have n number of sides, but it has to be a closed figure and should not have curves. Next, what are sides? Sides are the straight line segments that form the outer boundary of a polygon. They connect to each other at vertices. Vertices means corners. Here, AB is a line segment and it is a side, right? Also, BC is a line segment and it is a side of the polygon. CD is a line segment and it is the side of the given polygon. DE is a line segment and it is a side of a polygon. Here the sides are line segment AB, line segment BC, line segment CD, line segment DE and line segment EA are the sides of the given polygon. Next, vertices. Vertices are nothing but the corners where two sides meet at a common point is called as corner, right? So, here line segment AB and AE are meeting at a point of A and AB and BC are meeting at a point of B, BC and CD are meeting at a point of C and CD and ED are meeting at a point of D. DE and AE are meeting at a point of E. So, here the vertices are the meeting points A, B, C, D and E. Vertices of a given figure are A, B, C, D and E. Adjacent. Adjacent means things that are next to each other or touching each other. Right? So, here in polygons, adjacent sides are sides that share a common vertex that is corner. In the figure, A, B, line segment A, B is adjacent to BC. AB can't be adjacent to ED, right? Because they are not touching each other. They are not next to each other. So, AB will be adjacent of BC and BC will be adjacent of CD. DE will be adjacent of AE. When they meet at a common point, then only they are called as adjacent sites. Here, line segment AB and line segment BC are next to each other and they are meeting at a point. So, these a line segment AB and line segment BC are adjacent sides. Similarly, BC and CD are meeting at a point and they are next to each other. So, line segment BC and 
C, D are adjacent sides. So here A, B line segment A, B and line segment C, B both are meeting at a point. So line segment A, B and C, B are adjacent sides. Similarly B, C and D, C are adjacent sides. C, D and E, D are adjacent sides and D, E and A, E are adjacent sides. E, A and D, A are adjacent sides. Diagonals. What are diagonals? Yes, diagonals are the straight line segments that connect non-adjacent vertices means not next to each other vertices means corners of a polygon. The corners should not be next to each other. So when we connect to the vertices which are not next to each other, it becomes a diagonal. So here is a figure. So we have to join any two vertices which are not joined by any side. So here A, B are sharing a common side. So we can't mark a line segment here. We can't mark a diagonal here. We can from A to C. Here the vertices are not next to each other. Right? And the sides are also not next to each other. AC and then AD and then can we connect with AE? No, because they are sharing a common side. Next one to B. B cannot be connected with A or C, right? Because they share a common side. So next we will be connecting to D and then to E as they are not sharing a common side. Next moving to C. C cannot be connected with B or D but C can be connected with A which we have already done and can be connected with E also. So we will connect with E also. Moving to D. D cannot be connected with C or E so it can be with B and A which is already done. Similarly, E cannot be connected with A or D but can be connected with B and C which is already done. So, here are the diagonals. Line segment AC, line segment AD, line segment BD, line segment BE, line segment CE, DA which is already done. So, 5 diagonals which is all D, uh, DA is already done. So, here we will get 5 diagonals that is AC, line segment AC, line segment AD, line segment BD, line segment BE and line segment CE are the diagonals for the given polygon. Now, look at this figure. Can we find a diagonal for a triangle? No, because all the vertices share the sides. For example, this is A, B and C. For A, C is also connected, D is, D is also connected. Right? And for B, C is connected, A is also connected. For C also, B is connected and D is connected. So, there can't be a diagonal for triangle. Except for triangle, for all other polygons, we can find the diagonal. So students, in today's video, hope you have understood about polygon. Thanks for watching and keep supporting for more videos.